don't you just love it when you're yelling at the movie? Just yelling at the movie. There were scenes where I was yelling, like I was seriously yelling at, at the at the at the movie. I, I'm like telling her, like, don't, 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 and, and she still going to do it. Like you ain't heard what I just said. What's up? What's up? This is your girl Beach Phoenix, and I am back again with another review. This is for The Strangers Chapter 1. That being said, we already know that there is going to be another part to this. So um, what we're going to do first is check out the trailer. And um, that's for you all who have not seen the trailer. You do not know what this is about. This is my reaction to the trailer and my review of the movie. I definitely want to say my hot take from the film is you want to go see this in theaters. This is one that you want to go for a movie night. Go get scared. Throw your popcorn all over your partner's lap or whatever you want to do. You know, cuddle up, get scared. This one is going to scare you. So don't wait for it to come to the streaming service. You want to go see this one. Before we get started, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Would you watch this movie? Let's get started. Here we go. Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. Or our five-year anniversary. But we already see they have a five-year anniversary. We're in a cool little town. I actually like this so much better than a hotel. How about the people who live here are really happy? Mm -hmm. Tough crowd, right? It's looking like one of those sunbound. Hi. Hi. Do you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. It is nice to be in the country and hear that. Is Tamara here? No. I think you have the wrong home. That was weird. Messiest eater on the planet. Okay, so first, um, as you can see with the name of it saying um, chapter one, we're already going to assume that there is going to be another part of this. Um, so just first, let's get into it. I now I do know that this is a remake. This is a remake of another The Strangers one. I looked it up later. Um, there's quite a few of them, but. We're going to just go from, again, before I did all of that deep diving and research, I, I kind of already knew that there was already um, a, a Strangers, but in the film, you will see where, um, and I don't know if I said this, but disclaimer, yeah, there are going to be a little bit of spoilers here. Um, so I hope you stay tuned, but if that's not what you want. Anyway, um, so... I'm thinking this is like kind of based off a, a real a real movie. I mean, I'm sorry, based off a real event. I don't know if they just put that in there for the film or if this is this is really what happened 
um, before because they're saying that this is based off of real, real events. But at any rate, um, as you can see, the couple starts off where they're traveling for their anniversary and they end up, you know, kind of like I mentioned, like in looking like it's in a sundown town. So it's in a, it's in a town that's really rural um, and there's not much there. So they're at the cabin and I don't want to give too much details, but they're at the cabin and this is just when everything takes a turn for the worse. Um, as you can see in the trailer, they, in a sense, kind of start getting hunted down. And then even at the end, we're, we're trying to figure out as her and as the audience, we're trying to figure out why are they doing this? And she said, you know, because you're here. So that, that just, that just gives, you know, uh, another just horror movie. Sometimes these things happen um, where you, you're watching these horror movies and people are doing stuff and things happen just because. Anyway, um, I, I do want to say that the movie had jump scares, as you can see in the trailer, to the fact that when I went, we, we were screaming. We were screaming in the theater. I had so much fun watching this movie. Um, also, it, it gave, I understand that some people don't like the stupid parts <laughs> in a movie where you're where you're yelling at the screen like don't go in there don't go in there why would you go in there this has that and i like that in a scary movie because it, it makes you so mad but you want to watch it just so you can be like i told you dummy <laughs> or or whatever you're gonna say you know um so let me let me put that out there this had those parts in the scary movie where you screaming at the film telling her don't do it don't do it and what did she do she do it anyway so there was quite a few parts where it's like no you know and it has that ultimate y'all already know in a scary movie there are like a few things that you don't do number one is split up why would you split up okay um it, it, you're always better you know in a group no matter if it's two of y'all you always better in a group so um just as another spoiler you know um the guy leaves um, he, he heads back into town for some things to come back. But while he left, I feel like that was, I'm sure they would have found any way to get into the cabin, but I feel like that was how they introduced, um, the killers in a sense, getting into the cabin because she was there by herself. You can't watch all the exits by yourself. You're there by yourself. She thought she heard something. She didn't know if she heard nothing. And then, um, you know, it, it just, it just, it wasn't right when they split up because that's where I feel like that gave the opportunity, um, for the killers to get in the house or to get into the cabin. Um, maybe if they were both there, it, it still could have happened. It might not happen, but, um, she was second guessing herself a lot. She didn't know if she, you know, heard this or heard that. Um, I feel like you definitely don't want to split up. So that was another mistake. Don't you just love it when you're yelling at the movie? Just yelling at the movie there were scenes where i was yelling like i was seriously yelling at, at the at the at the movie I, i'm like telling her like don't 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 and, and she's still going to do it like you ain't heard what i just said so my thing with this movie is the mask okay um it, it just it, it kills me because I, i'm gonna i'm gonna spoil this i'm gonna tell you um, maybe because there's another one coming out. I don't know if that's why they kept this, but I'm going to tell you, if you were waiting for a face reveal, you're never going to get it. I was waiting for a face reveal. I wanted to see who these people were. I don't know if I would recognize them from somebody from town or there's somebody random, but we never get a face reveal. That part uh, it, 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 it pulls me in for more because I kept waiting for a face reveal. Um, we never got it. I, I do want to say again, out of the scary movies that I've seen so far this year for 2024, this one, and this is the most recent, but this one is the best so far. Now I'm saying these are like box office uh, scary movies, not nothing that I've seen on the streaming service because there are way plenty of other scary movies scarier movies than this but um i'm saying in the theater this one this one so far um it, it hit it right on the money with 
the the scariness of it because it had the stuff that you're expecting now you're gonna have very low for me for me it was very low when it comes to being predictable um i hate when movies are way too predictable but you see enough of them sometimes it's a little predictable and of course they're going to put certain bits in there and then you'll see where the camera will angle on that so that you can know like okay this is going to come up in the future um so there were just a few parts that i felt would be predictable just like you've seen in the trailer when you've seen the two um like greasy mechanics um just standing there watching them come out um one reason why they got stuck in that town was because when they came out from the diner um their car wouldn't crank up so when i first seen that part i'm like yep they're gonna go ahead and mess with your car it's not confirmed it, it does not get confirmed in the in the film but i suspect and i'm pretty sure they did they did something to the car to make it not work they all in it together if you ask me all right but um that that part I, I felt was a little bit predictable because it's like okay i know it's a small town but you have um the car shop right across from the diner and the two like greasy mechanics are just standing out there watching them pull up and then after they come out from getting their food their car won't crank up and they're like oh yeah well, we can fix it for you uh you got to stay the night and uh, we'll have it ready for you in the morning obviously they didn't last through the night but uh so again um as far as it being scary for me i don't like for a scary movie to be super predictable and this wasn't there was just a few bits that you can kind of already sense again like i mentioned with the uh, mechanics but all the rest of it i was not expecting it to go that way um there was one other scene that i don't want to give away because again i don't want to spoil it too much but there was one other scene um that I felt was a little bit predictable and um, I'll I'll put a little note of that on the side of this another thing I want to mention that I don't like when there are parts where it's like that is so fake now mind you this probably could have really happened but as you've seen in the trailer there was a scene where there was like a crash with the truck and um, that could have happened don't get me wrong but I feel like it was a little fake that once you watch the film, you see when the truck came to hit the other car because they were trying to escape. It was like no damage to that truck, but all the damage was to theirs. So maybe that could have really happened. But um, there was it was so where there was no damage to the other truck that the other truck was able to drive after that. You see what I'm saying? So that kind of had me like, uh, you know. They should have put a little bit more damage on that truck. You know, don't make the killers be so invincible. Like their car isn't like a regular car or their truck isn't like a regular truck or they're not like a regular person. You know, I don't want to see like super strength. I don't want their car to have super strength. Um, I want them to all kind of be on the same level. Uh, I'm sorry, same playing field on the same level. I do not want to give away too much. So we're going to stop there. I definitely say that, yes, you guys, this is a green light for you guys to go and watch this while it's still in the theaters. Go and see this while it's still in the theaters. It is a really good one for movie night. But that's all I'm going to give you. You guys can check out my full review on my letterbox. I'll have the information in my description box. Beach Phoenix signing out.